Afternoon. Hello there. I don't know about gymnastics, but the weather's doing some seesawing at the moment. We've got a day of rain and a day of wind, and we had some very wet weather this weekend. This is an image of a shower cloud taken by young Rosie walking in Dorset yesterday with her family. And this heavy hail shower swept across the country along with a band of very heavy rain. And now in its wake for today, it feels a lot colder. But there's an awful lot of sunshine around as well. The satellite picture shows blue skies for many. But in the east, still the remnants of the weather front from the weekend, keeping it cloudy and wet here for the rest of the day. Northwesterly winds, though, will drive that slowly eastwards as we head through the next 24 hours. But for much of the Midlands, for southern areas of England, it's a bright, breezy afternoon to come. But as we head towards Kent and much of Norfolk and Suffolk, it's a miserable afternoon. The rain continues, perhaps snow for a time across the Downs, feeling raw with that wind. High is maybe four or five degrees. But back into northern England, eastern Scotland, plenty of sunshine. The winds here much lighter, so feeling pretty pleasant with seven or eight degrees. Northwestern Scotland, a few light showers, perhaps Northern Ireland, one or two light downpours, but by and large, a lot of dry, sunny spells as well. For northwestern areas of Wales, just the risk of a few of those showers arriving, as they will do perhaps later in the day through Cornwall, but for much of South Wales, Devon and Somerset, it is looking dry. Now, through the night, that weather front stays there across many eastern counties of England, and from the northwest, the clouds slowly start to push in. But in between the two, clear skies and light winds leads to a fairly widespread frost, but at least yet again, another sunny, if not chilly, start to Tuesday. Now, for tomorrow, that weather front in the southeast finally relinquishes its grip and our attention turns to the northwest. By tomorrow, it turns cloudier, wetter, windier for Northern Ireland and Western Scotland. In between, though, still this lovely slice of sunshine and temperatures of eight or nine degrees. So, for tomorrow, the weather front sits in the north. By Wednesday, the whole thing sinks southwards. The white lines, the isobars, fairly close together. So, a fairly windy day on Wednesday. The rain yet again arrives across the southeast, where it's been very dry lately. But from the north, sunnier but colder, with a chance of some wintry showers. And then, yes, our seesaw of week of weather continues because by Thursday, our next weather front brings another spell of rain in the north. So I think there's a lot going on with the weather for the next few days. There's more, as always, Louise online. Laura, thank you very much. At half past one,